Welcome to Maersk. In this video, we will assist you in getting started with playing and transcribing dictations in the hosted Maersk environment. Let's first make sure that you are properly set up to listen to the dictations. Go to your control panel, click on the hardware and sound group, and click on sound. Here you will see a list of audio devices in or attached to your PC. Identify the headphones or speakers that you want to use for transcribing dictations. Right-click this device. Select Test from the menu and verify that you can hear the sound. Go to your chosen subdomain name at hostedmersk.com and sign in with the transcriber password that you have received in an email titled Welcome to Mersk. Select the Inbox tab. In order to focus on dictations that are relevant for you, you can use various types of filtering. Date filtering lets you select dictations that were uploaded between the two dates entered. You can also choose to simply focus on the latest week, or you can decide that you want to have all dictations in your inbox listed. In addition, you can fine-tune the filtering by selecting to see only dictations that are new, have already been transcribed, are currently opened by another user, or have been listened to, indicated by red. Let's play a dictation. Double click anywhere on a dictation in the inbox to activate the dictation player. Note the sliding bars in the player control area. The left sliding bar lets you vary the speed of the player between one and four times the recorded speed. This can be practical for proof listening or if there are long breaks between talking. With the right slider, you can control the sound level. Default setting is 50% of volume, but be aware that you can also control the volume setting on your PC. The third and largest slider is the position slider. The width of the slider always corresponds to 100% of the dictation. You can drag the position slider to any place in the dictation. Note that the left counter will always reflect the position in the dictation while the right counter reflects the overall length of the dictation. Click play to start playing the dictation. Experiment with the sliders to get a feeling for how they work. As soon as the dictation has been opened by anyone, it will no longer be in the state new, but will assume the state red. You can change the case number, dictation type, or priority, or add a note to the dictation, and save your changes by clicking the Save button. If you have completed the transcription, you should use the Save Transcribed button. You can also control the player using key shortcuts or a foot pedal. To rewind, use Control Shift 1. To toggle between play and pause, use Control Shift 2. To forward, use Control Shift 3. If you would prefer using a foot pedal, you can order one via the form page. Click on Support, select Form, and find the FAQ section. Click on the topic Controlling the Sound Player and find the foot pedal link. This link will take you to a secure site where you can order a foot pedal that is pre-configured to work with...